Okay, a uh, couple more things about dimensioning. This dimension here, look on figure 9-1 in your print reading book and make some notes on that page. This is the dimension line. This vertical line is the extension line. The gap from the extension line to the part is known as the blanking or gap. This line here that goes past the arrowhead is called the overrun. So when you go on any CAD system, I'm teaching you all CAD, any CAD, it's got the same thing. If you're doing dimensions and you want to modify something about the extension line or the dimension line or this arrow, it's called a symbol. This is the dimension line again. This is the extension line. And this distance here to here is called the gap or the blanking. And this is the overrun, this little line here past the arrowhead. This number two is a value. And when I put in a text like 4x, that is called text. If you know what those mean, it's a lot easier to go find what to modify. So if anything you need to modify, you've got to find either extension line, dimension line, symbol, value, overrun, or blanking. And then you'll get to set it to whatever parameters you want. In the book, it says that this is a sixteenth of an inch, and this line here is supposed to be one-eighth of an inch. Okay. So, in our preferences, which feature would you probably go find that in? It would be under mechanical, right? And then under drafting. And then you got to look for in a tab that would fill in the answers that you uh, want to go adjust. So, I am going to show you how to modify in case it's not correct. If I click on this dimension and right click and go to properties, the overrun, according to the book, is one eighth of an inch. Hmm. So that should be 0 0.125. If I hit apply, I'm going to hit OK just to move this out of the way. See, it adjusted this one on this end. Why didn't it adjust this one? Well, you got to be careful. There's not really a way, I think, to know this. I'm just going to go to Properties. I'm going to change this one to 0.125 and hit Apply. Did you see it kind of extend on both ends? Now the blanking is 1 16th of an inch. Okay, so if you don't know your decimals and your fractions, one thing you could do is pull up your calculator and just do a 1 divided by 16 equals 0 0.0625. So the blanking should be 0 0.0625. And this should be 0 0.0625. I'll hit apply. Did you see those move up a little bit? So really I should be changing on all of those, but we'll adjust the uh, standards here later to get that taken care of. I just wanted you to understand where, what overrun and what blanking means. And again, to reference figure 9-1 in your print reading book to verify the values. So, I'll hit OK. You notice that these lines here touch. You need that gap. You need that gap here. I need the gap. I need the gap. And what I did is I went in and I modified that gap already. So, if I go to Properties, According to the book, this is supposed to be 0 0.0625. Whoa. 0 0.0625. And this one here is 0 0.0625. See how those lines go right back through that? 
and this one here I actually modified this so you can see what my goals are what I'm trying to get to I'm going to change that back to 0 0.0625 0 0.0625 these are supposed to be an eighth and an eighth I'll hit apply select OK all right so when I click on this and go to properties I gotta get this off more than what it's saying because the radius is hitting it so the bottom line is you just gotta get gaps in there so I'm gonna change that to an eighth of an inch I hit apply doesn't seem big enough I try a half inch hit apply it's like, wait a minute, I'm a half inch. How come I don't see it moving? 0.375. You can't tell. It's not, you don't see anything because the extension line for the one is overlapping it. So let's modify the one on the right, which will be the one on the top. I'll change that to a quarter inch and hit apply. See, there's a gap there now. That's what I need to do for the other one. I need this one to be at a quarter inch as well. The problem is the extension line for the one inch is also overlapping. So I'll hit OK and modify this one. Right click properties. So the first one appears to be the bottom one. So I will change that to a quarter inch and hit apply. Notice that there's a gap there. I won't touch this one because you've already got the gap where it's at 1 16th of an inch hit OK so again on the 4 inch dimension we know to uh, right click on it and go to properties and I'll just change the blanking to 0.25 on both sides and one sixteenth of an inch, no, one eighth of an inch on the overruns. Okay, notice I have a gap here. The gap here is correct, but there is no gap here. Why? What did I do wrong? I have to change the properties for the two inch dimension. I'll change the left one to quarter inch. I'll change these to 0.125. Since I'm here, I might as well just get it right. Now notice that they didn't get the gap there, and now this gap got too big, so I got the wrong one. So this one here is supposed to be 0.0625, and this one over here needs to be a quarter inch. And hit apply. Now I've got gaps. So you got to modify this drawing so that you're never touching the part. Okay, so that concludes this portion of the dimensioning. I will go ahead and save the model here. The next step is to put on the uh, the title box.